Why SK not to unsend messages that might be used against you in a legal case? Why why SK? Why SK that deleting evidence that might be used against you in a pending civil or criminal case violates the spoilation rule? Unsending messages is now becoming an issue for attorneys with the latest iOS update. As an attorney though, I can tell you that by doing so, you are opening a whole new can of worms that will most likely cause you to lose. I've already seen this happen in a case I am working, and I imagine it will become a bigger issue. Basically, unsending messages results in evidence destruction, and doing so will allow the court to issue heavy sanctions against your case and could lead to a negative inference as to the message. That is, the court will assume that whatever you sent is bad for your case and use the fact you destroyed it as an argument against you. Do not ever destroy evidence, and if you unsend a message, you do so at your own peril. Of course, this isn't legal advice, but if your attorney ever tells you to do this, I'm almost 100 confident they are breaking at least their ethical duties. TLDR You're not smarter than the system, and deleting messages is going to cause you to lose a case, or at the very least, it will hurt your case. Edit I used the term spoliation wrong multiple times thanks to autocorrect. It's spoliation, not spoilation. Resubmitted for rule 2. So if I just delete everything that would be much easier to defend rather than just deleting the bad couple of messages. I wasn't destroying evidence, I was trying to sever all ties because of the horrible lies they told, thoughtful face, kissing face. Just never email text or write anything that could possibly cause trouble to you. Never ever ever. Even if you think it's anonymous or it won't cause issues. Pick up the phone or talk in person if you have something dodgy to say ha ha. You can always deny that. I've now heard twice in my life where I answered an anonymous survey where I criticized someone and they fucking always figured out it was me and caused me big problems. Learn from my mistakes. FYI, Signal app with disappearing messages is pretty bulletproof. When Signal has had to comply with court orders, the only info they have been able to provide is that a phone number created an account on X date. Their protocol literally doesn't store any info about who you've sent messages to or when. There is no spoliation before a case is brought before you, so if you use Signal and have everything set to a one day or one week delete before litigation is brought against you, there is nothing for opposing counsel to go after from an e-discovery perspective. Makes sense? Where I live, that rule no longer applies in civil cases. If it's your property, you can do what you want with it unless there is an existing court order to preserve it. Keep in mind that in a criminal or family law case, you would definitely want to talk to your lawyer before destroying evidence. You should know if you are a corporation the resulting fine is just the cost of doing business. I'm not sure this advice is entirely correct. Companies have an email and document retention policy and regularly trash those permanently unless they are part of a legal hold. I imagine the same would apply to civilians. That is you can regularly delete stuff as part of normal cleanup but if you were part of an ongoing investigation or had good reason to believe that soon could happen then deleting something pertinent could land you in hot water. Solution Android This of course only applies if you're involved in an ongoing court case. There's no harm in unsending your messages in your normal day to day. You're not smarter than the system. Fuck you and your system, you don't get to talk about my smartness, middle finger. Sounds like an Apple problem I'm too Android to care about. That's really good advice, thank you. This guy lawyers. What if I delete the bad messages before cancellation attempts are made on me? Not smarter than the dollar system but there are many loopholes that aren't taught in law schools or school. Reading is key. Besides, even if you unsend a message, who has the power to assume what the message said? This sounds like bad advice from an attorney. I'll delete whatever I want, thank you. You are not a lawyer. Nice try. You could set your phone to automatically delete all text messages. 
mine has the option by number of texts, or time frame like every 30 days. It's best not to threaten someone online. I don't see where that needs any clarification. Yeah yeah yeah. While we are at it, your phone can still be tracked while it is off. Don't believe me? Ask the Portland BLM arrests. Never write anything down, ever threaten people's lives via phone call or in person. This the same reason why it's a bad idea to eat your weed. Chances are your quantities are misdemeanor. Destruction of evidence is a felony.